Hello, my name is Stephanie from Sporter X, and I'm here with Sarah from Sporter X, and today we're going to talk about the best women's sunglasses. Now, we work in an industry that is sport focused. So as you can imagine, ladies, sadly, uh, we have a little bit of trouble finding some great female representation. But what we're here to do today is um, talk about the collection of women specific frames from our portfolio of brands. And I'm here with Sarah, who's an ABO certified licensed optician, and she'll be our optical ninja kind of technical expert in here. And I'll just kind of be representing the general women's consumer. So what we'll do is go over some lifestyle frames that are just kind of great for everyday wear, great fashion pieces, and then we'll move on over into the kind of polar opposite, which is the sport specific collection. And at the end, we'll kind of bring it all together and talk about some great hybrid frames that have great functionality for sport, but also look good. So um, we'll just kick it off with the lifestyle frames. Yeah, okay. let's start with that uh, that Kane and Lena. <laughs> um, this Canon is fantastic. If you guys aren't familiar with Canon, it is um, a Southern California brand. They have great people behind the brand. Shout out to Mark from Canon, hey. Um, and great products. And the Lena is one of their newer uh, styles in their collection. And what it's what's great about it is it has this kind of subtle cat eye silhouette and it's a little bit of an oversized frame. So I suffer from a little something called <laughs> L LFS, large face syndrome. Um, I need a little bit of an oversized frame and this just does it perfectly for me. But I think Sarah could kind of speak to the range of fits on this. Yeah, so it actually works great on a lot of different faces. We've seen it on a couple of petite faces and it looks just as good, which yeah. is pretty amazing. Um, all of Kanan's newer releases are also part of these amazing colorways. They've really stepped up their game as far as um, color offerings and uh, handmade materials and these finishes that are just unique and different um, and what you don't see a lot of um, in other brands, which is uh, what kind of sets Kanan apart as far as women's brands are concerned too. Another note on Kanan is it all, all of their line comes with SR91 lens technology, which is their proprietary lens tech which has a great optical clarity tech to it, but is also impact resistant for sport. So it kind of marries the two together, which is really uncommon in the industry. Very like RXable frame. If it's something that you need in prescription, it's a really easy one to do as well. You can get the Keenan Authentic lens in that as well. And so that SR91 material will translate right to your prescription lenses. All right. Um, and that's Keenan Lena. Yeah, that's the Keenan Lena. So next up, we have the Spy Cameo. And I really like the Spy Cameo because it's just a real simple, basic, um, straightforward frame. It's really lightweight, not a ton going on on the temple, nice and thin. Um, and when you put it on, it has um, these nicer, longer nose pads, so it helps to keep the, the frame away from the face. So I have a little bit of trouble with frame fit because of the shape of my nose. This actually keeps the frame up and away a little bit more. Um, and then what I also really love about the Spy Cameo is that all of the um, lens colors, I'm sorry, the frame colors that are available are um, kind of this rubberized matte finish. Super hot in the industry right now. Um, this is actually a purple undertone, but it comes in a tortoise and a black version. It even comes in like a teal and a blue version. And so um, all of those finishes, just less shiny, a little bit more matte, super duper popular. And um, technically speaking, it actually also helps keep the frame on the face a little bit better because it's not as slippery when you've got it on, which is very Love cool. Um, the next piece we have is from Roxy, which is the newest brand in our collection. Yeah, and so this is the Hadley. Um, Roxy has been around um, as a brand for a ton of time. The, the Ivor collection is fairly new. Um, it was a little bit um, uh, unknown uh, as far as the product is concerned to Roxy and to their parent company Quicksilver, um, but they started in Europe was wildly popular in Europe and now they're bringing it to the US and we're one of the first retailers that's actually carrying the eyewear line. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. You can see here, this Hadley has just this really beautiful blue and brown um, tortoise. It fits a lot of different faces. Again, highly RXable because it's nice and flat. Um, but just really great stuff that we're seeing from the line. And what I really love about Roxy is that the women's collection isn't an afterthought. And that's because it is a women specific brand and it's the only women's specific action sports brand in the industry. So we have mad love for Roxy for that. Um, next is the classic aviator. So I'm sure 
you ladies have seen this before. It is the RB3025 or otherwise known as the Aviator. And it is a piece of Ray-Ban's iconic collection. You can't really go wrong. It has these great nose pads to to lift them off your face a little bit should you need some adjustment. Exactly, um, it comes in three sizes and that's a big deal. Um, so if you are looking for an aviator, um, you're gonna be able to find one that fits you somewhere in the Ray-Ban 3025 collection. A billion different colors. Um, the most popular are obviously the gold and the silver and the black, um, but there's all kinds of uh, frame combinations. And the nice thing about um, Ray-Ban right now was Ray-Ban just released their authentic lens program. So if you are a prescription wearer and you want the Ray-Ban uh, 3025, you can now get that with the Ray-Ban logo in your prescription in this classic G15 color, any of the uh, flash mirror colors that they have available Tons that are years. super popular. You can now get that in your prescription. It's gonna have that Ray-Ban authentic logo um, and look just like this when you get it to you in your customized um, RX. And I'm just gonna put this on really quickly for you guys. Um, in my opinion, personally, I think it's a little bit smaller for mm -hmm. my face, but this is probably the most common, mm -hmm. most universal size. size. Mm -hmm. um, so if we were to step it up a notch, enter the Costa Cook. Now, I love this frame. This, this is frame, a great frame. Near and dear to my heart. It is an oversized piece. I think it's, um, it could be actually a unisex piece. It is a larger oversized aviator. It has Costa's 580G technology, which filters out all of the harmful blue light. If you're not sure what HEB blue light is, we have a video on that. We'll post that in the description. Um, but what I love about this frame is it also has those adjustable nose pads to kind of lift it off of your face. So I would have no problem actually going on a jog with that. I know some of the opticians in here would probably um, <laughs> frown upon that. Yeah, frown upon that, but uh, <laughs> love this frame, love the mirror colors. It comes in a variety of different uh, lens options. And um, Costa Cook, it's just super high quality, super great frame. One of the cool things about the Cook as well that's different than the 3025 is that temple is straight. And so it's a little bit of a different wear, a different feel when you've got it on. Um, it clings to the back of the head by kind of hugging the back. And so I find that more comfortable. Um, some people are more comfortable with that temple that kind of hugs um, back behind the ear. Uh, that is a little irritating to me. So I like this straight temple of the Cook. The Cook is just a gorgeous frame. Um, Costa has been around for a long time. They've been heavy in men's for so long. And when this came out, we all freaked out about it. Yeah, really best Costa I've ever worn on yeah. my face. And so that pretty much covers everything as far as what we would consider a traditional lifestyle frame. Like Steph said, you know, there's gonna be a lot of frames that you can do more sporty things in, but what happens when you're looking for something that's really sport-based, something that you're only gonna wear on your run, um, only wear when you're playing tennis, things like that. We've got a couple of choices here that are really, really strong contenders for uh, what we would consider a traditional um, sport frame. That first one that we've got is the Oakley Commit. Um, the Commit has been around for a long time. It's um, a pretty tried and true, um, ventilated, semi-rimless, um, lightweight. Uh, when we look at sport frames, we're looking at something that has um, kind of rubber all over the back, all over the nose pad to help with the slip resistance. Um, and that's sort of how we categorize all of these, um, these, sports, uh, these sports styles. So what's new from Oakley, kind of a new updated version of a half rim style sport specific, is the Flak Beta. And Flak Beta is part of the Flak family. You probably have heard the Flak Jacket, the Flak 2.0 XL. Um, the Flak Beta is kind of a smaller and more toned down on the temple version of that frame. Um, same kind of core, so again, uh, semi-rimless, interchangeable, so you can remove the lenses in and out if you need to. You can do different lens colors for different sport needs. Um, the nose pads are removable and replaceable, and also with that uh, slip resistance, so that when you start perspiring, um, the lenses are the frame is going to stay nice and um, nice and steady on your face. Um, the build is round, just like all of these other sport frames. So again, hugging the head, um, not really going to move around a whole lot when um, when you're doing your activity. Um, the Flak Beta was one of the newer releases that is available in the Prism technology, which is all over sport right now. And so, if you're a golfer. Um, you're going to have a prism lens that's specific to golfing. Um, if you want it in prescription, that prism golf lens is also available in prescription. So very sport specific. Uh, Mountain biking, road cycling, they even have prism snow lenses. Yep. Basically lens technology that is fine tuned to your environment and your sport. And then the third choice that we have here 
is um, also one that's been around for quite some time. It's the Nike Tailwind. Um, and the, the Tailwind has a very, very similar build where it's an interchangeable um, frame, lots of ventilation, but it actually has even a little bit more ventilation than some of these other frames. The point of connection there of the lens is just at the very middle through the nose pad. And so you really have a lot of airflow through the lens, which makes it um, not as prone to fogging um, when you're uh, wearing them during your sport, um, but very similar technology. They have what, um, most opticians refer to as like a saddle bridge. It's the bridge piece that actually spans the entire width of the nose. Um, and that um, is for comfort and for durability so that the frame is going to stay on again when you're um, in a high activity situation. And Nike's really been stepping it up. Um, they've come out with some great pieces over this last season. And I expect to see more great things from the Nike collection. Alrighty, so the last part of our little collection here is what happens when you um, want a frame that does both. There's your lifestyle here that you might wear on the weekends and every day. There's your heavy sport when you're in a certain activity, but what if you want one frame that does it all? Well, we have a few frames here that will take you from gym to coffee shop, coffee shop to gym, back to coffee, to coffee shop, shop to gym, <laughs> brunch. <laughs> and um, I'll just go ahead and kick it off with the Adidas frame, which has a great kind of flatter um, frame build to it. So it's not quite as wrapped, not quite as aggressive looking as one of these half rim styles would be. But what it does is it has some kind of secretly hidden sport features that are hidden in the back there and yeah. just kind of sit in the background, but... So this particular one's called the Excalate. There's a couple of other models that have this same sort of uh, technology. The nose pad actually clicks in and out. You can kind of hear it there, um, but you can adjust it to where it's going to be the most comfortable for your face. And why we would consider this kind of a hybrid between a sport and a lifestyle is because that nose pad's gonna help it stay, but it doesn't have, like Steph said, it doesn't have an overly aggressive shape. It doesn't look like I should be on a bike right yeah. now. It's basically something that wears the same way as a lifestyle frame, but has that slip resistance so that's not gonna really go anywhere um, if I decide to go running with that or something along those lines. Similarly, we have a couple from the Smith Collection. Um, great brand, great product, great people behind the product. I'll let you speak a little bit. To yeah, you. so both of these frames, this is the Sydney and the Ramona. Um, Smith has been doing women's lifestyle frames for a really long time. Um, and Smith is a sport-based company. So the they're probably one of the pioneers as far as taking a, um, a sport-based uh, company and translating it into a lifestyle um, and carrying over to things outside of just the sports industry. Um, and as far as women are concerned, they really explored some great colors and things before any other mm -hmm. brands did. And so um, both the Sydney and the Ramona have, again, that kind of nose pad that's a little bit more slip resistant, um, but the colors are very fun. You could easily put a prescription in either of these two frames. We could absolutely make you a sport specific lens. Um, Smith themselves has the Chromapop technology which is very similar in the color enhancing um, sport specific lenses that are going to be really great for your um, particular needs. And so um, the Smith, again, the Sydney and the Ramona are both really great choices, female specific, um, looking for uh, something that's going to cross over from the lifestyle um, into the sport really easily. And then we have, if you have a smaller fit face, um, this is the Oakley the Moonlighter. Moonlighter. Mm -hmm. And the Moonlighter is actually really similar. If you're familiar with the Oakley Frog Skins, the Moonlighter is very, very close to that. Um, it actually doesn't, I have too big of a face for this one. I'll put and it so, up. <laughs> I'll, be your, I'll be your test case. And, it's um, too small for me. <laughs> but the Moonlighter is actually really, um, it's a little bit softer than the Frog Skins. It's not yeah. as, um, as uh, overpowering, I guess you could say. Um, the temple is a little bit skinnier. This color is actually that wood grain, and the wood grain's been right. around in Oakley for a long time. It's just a gorgeous color. Um, the 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 nose pads again are that slip resistant, and so you know once again you can kind of wear it in a lot of different situations. It's going to be super appropriate for both lifestyle and for um, more more higher activity. Um, and the last one that we're going to talk on here is the Nike Vital. So the Nike Vital um, was a spring release from this past year. And when this came into our office, we were all overly excited about it. It's a very, very um, easy to wear women's shape. It's, it fits a lot of different faces. Um, it looks good on a petite face as well as a larger face. And so 
it um, is very universal as far as the look is concerned. We have these really great embedded um, rubber nose temples or nose pieces and um, rubber pieces embedded into the end of the temple as well. So if you are wearing this in a high activity situation, um, it's really going to stay put because of all of these different sport features. It's just a well-made frame and it's really, really great for prescription as well. Nice big window of vision. Mm -hmm. um, we can fit um, very high prescriptions in this one. We've got a couple of employees in the office that wear this on a regular basis, both as a Off clear frame yep. and as a sunglass frame. So um, it's one of the most universal pieces that we've seen come through in a really, really long time. And as Steph was saying before, Nike's just doing really amazing things with color and with design. And they're really trying to improve um, the quality of the frames and the quality of the design, um, for, especially for women. Yep. Well, that concludes it for our women's collection 2017. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comments below. I literally get an alert anytime someone comments on YouTube, so we'll see it. Um, or you can email us, info at sportorex.com. Give us a call. Um, Facebook us. Facebook tweet us, us. Tweet us. Send Instagram. us a Instagram. Gram us. Um, <laughs> um, comment. Like, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. And you'll see us on the next edition of uh, the Steph and Sarah series.